Today, I'm gonna show you how to print a multicolor design on a manual press. Let's go. What's up, YouTube? My name is Milo. I'm a full time screen printer and I work from my garage. And right now, well, I'm at home. And um, today, I'm gonna show you a three color print with an underbase. So it makes it a four color print. And I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks on how I get through that whole setup. So, uh, too much talking. Let's get to work. So you're probably wondering what type of software and printer am I using. So the software that I'm using is called Corel Draw, and the printer is a Epson 1430. And this process over here, it's very important because it determines how well your print is going to look. And if you want me to do a video on how to do color separations, please let me know in the comments. So now that I've finished printing all my films, I'm going to give you two small tips. First one will be, use an inject printer, so you can have a very dark opaque looking print. So whenever you do go expose, light won't go in through the design. Second tip will be to uh, test your work. Make sure that all the registration marks align with each other. So whenever you do uh, go expose it, you won't have any problems. Because you'd rather find out if there's a problem here than after you expose your screens. So, now it's time to go burn our screens. So this is the technique that I use to line up all my screens so they can match and register in my press. So I'll grab the center of the whole screen and it's 10 inches. And I uh, check, check for the top. I usually go for three inches and a half. Three inches and a half. Then I do the same thing for the bottom. 10 inches. 10 inches. Ten. Right. Double check my work, 10 inches. Three and a half, perfect. And I repeat the same process for the other screens. Then I tape the film to the screen and we are ready to burn. After I finish taping all the screens, what I usually like to do, I'll grab them, start grabbing them, and one by one I start burning them. For example, grab this one, put the foam inside. So it's the next day. And something that I love to do before printing, I like to pre-expose my screens. Uh, whether it's with the sun or with the exposure unit. No way. My dog just bit my apron. I just literally found out right now. Anyways, I love to do this because it hardens the emotion once again. It's like double testing your work. And uh, I love to do this because Let's say you have a huge, uh, huge order. You don't want your motion breaking down during the during production. But enough talking. Let's start lining these up. So before we actually start mounting our screens to the press, let's reset all our heads to the center, just like this. Loosen all these things up. Oh, I'm getting weak. Set these to the center. Set. Set. 
all of these to the sun. See, that's not even sun. This is sun. Nice. That's it. And we do this to all of them. So this is gonna be our main foundation. We're gonna we're gonna tape this uh, film to the platen, and from here we're gonna line up all the screens to this, so they all can line up and register to these registration marks. Let's tape this right here. Make sure it doesn't move. I'll say tape it like four times. Okay. Nothing too crazy. Okay. Make sure it doesn't move. Beautiful. So, here we go. Loosen these up a little bit. Everything falls right in place. I don't know if you can see the registration marks from here, but they're right here. It's six of them. And the goal is to all. Uh, I usually like to register one first. I'll start with this one. This one right here on the bottom. Then I tighten it up. Then I loosen these up back here. Then with this little uh, stick, I start moving them. Start moving them around. Kind of tap it here. Make sure it hits where it should. You can see. Everything looks good. Everything's looking good here. Looking good here. And I like to make my registration marks very thin so I won't have room for error. Because even if there's a little, my little off, you still won't notice it. Right, so looks like we're good. Looks like we're Gucci. Gucci here. Gucci here, now let's check the design. Everything looks good. And I tighten it up. So after that, we are ready to tape. Before we start printing and testing our work, let's talk about the mesh. For my underbase, I am using a 156 mesh. For my colors, I am using a 230 mesh. And the reason why I like to use a 230 mesh is because uh, I don't want the print to feel heavy. To, to feel heavy on the shirt since I'm using next level 3600. Now, talking about the mesh, it's probably another video. And if you guys do want to talk about the mesh and what designs go with each mesh, Please let me know in the comments and we'll do a video about that. Now, let's get back to work. Just 
was my lucky day. I ran out of gray ink. So um, a printer that I've been working with uh, lately, he's been like a mentor to me, always, always tells me, a real screen printer never buys gray ink. He makes it himself. Well, I guess it's time to make my own. So now it's time to uh, test our work. What I usually like to do, I like to heat up the shirt. So whenever I do pass the ink through, it'll be nice and smooth. Especially since I work in a garage. Okay, let's start with the underbase. Underbase. Make sure the ink is nice and smooth. One, two, three for good luck. This is the first pass. Okay, everything looks good, everything looks clear here. Check the screen. And this is the most important one because this is what gives all the colors a, a vibrant look. So this is the most important uh, print out of everything. Okay, so we look good. Now let's flash it. So now that my underbase is nice and dry, it's time to use a bright white. And the reason why I don't use the same screen for the underbase and the bright white is because since this design is very detailed, using the underbase twice, it kind of like takes takes away some of the detail. And uh, it makes the print feel more uh, rough, if that makes sense. So let's try it. Right on the money. Right on the money. Yes. Let's give it another pass though. Secure everything out. Oh yes. Right on the money. Okay. So now it's time to add a little bit of color. I'm gonna use the gray, dark gray. Sheesh! Right on the money. Let's give it another pass for good luck. Oh yes. Oh yes. Double check the work, making sure everything looking Gucci. Yes. So now that the gray is dry, it's time for the orange. For the orange. Everything looks nice and clear. Beautiful. Now let's do the orange. So passes. Let me see. Nice, nice. Go over here. Go over here. Go over here. Alright, let's give it another pass to see how it looks. Beautiful. It really does look beautiful. And now we are done guys. We are done. We are done with the print. Now we cover the registration marks. Now it's time. It's time to actually start production.
Supreme right here is actually one of my customers. He's been with me for a little bit over two years. He's actually an artist. He draws, draws pretty awesome stuff. He actually draws, has done a couple designs for us for our clothing brand. So I would highly recommend them. I'll put his IG right here so you guys can check it out or right here. I don't know whichever one. He'll be down here or down here. Either way, check them out. If you need some more work done or anything, I highly recommend them. So hopefully this video helped out in any way. And if you have any questions, please let us know in the comments. And if you guys could help us by giving us a like, maybe a subscribe, it will mean the world to us. Once again, thank you, have a beautiful day, and God bless.